Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Mary and that is my wonderful husband, Dio. So I have been looking for the perfect um, chairs to add to our living room. Guys, <laughs> furniture just keeps showing up. <laughs> like when your wife is a designer, be careful guys, be careful. Things just keep showing up at home. What is this? A few moments later. I am so excited. My table is here. So I was actually just sitting in the office trying to get some work done and the doorbell rang. I knew it was coming today, but I hadn't been tracking it and I didn't quite know what time it was gonna get here, but I am super excited. My coffee table is finally being delivered. The truck just pulled up. Baby, you're as excited as I am. <laughs> the coffee table. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> coffee table. Clearly, you can see who needed this coffee table. <laughs> Thank you. I want to start. There we go. Yeah. I think it's good. Here. That's what I get. I remember when you begged. <laughs> you begged for this other man. <laughs> You said it was soft and so you could put this inside. And now I'm begging you to take it away. A few moments later. I don't know if you guys have seen our living room furniture yet as I'm recording this, but Pottery Barn finally delivered our living room furniture and I've been looking for like the perfect kind of side chairs to kind of just complete my living room look. So this has arrived and I am so excited and cannot wait to open it. It is a pretty big box. Babe, if you stand next to it, I'm kind of worried about how big the chair is. I'm not very excited. <laughs> so I'm super excited. Babe's gonna unbox it for us. He's doing exactly what the box says not to do. I don't know, but I, I, I don't know, but <laughs> well, you've already opened it. <laughs> I just wanted to point that out. welcome back to our channel in this video we are going to be giving you a living room update showing you our new furniture yes our furniture was finally delivered so we ordered it from pottery barn back in august or september and it got here at the end of march we are so excited the space is finally coming together we haven't done an update recently and kind of showing you the living room so now that we have the furniture we really want to take the opportunity to show you the living room and kind of show you how it's coming together how the colors are looking and come 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 come, come with me all right so the so this sofa is the big sir as i said we ordered it from pottery barn and i love this sofa y'all it is 
firm, it is comfortable. It's firm, but not like hard. And it's comfortable and I really, really love it. And what I loved about it was that like we could customize it to what we wanted. Um, we've always had a lot of furniture where it had like the regular cushion. And in this house with our kids just being younger, I wanted a big bench. I wanted to sit down without worrying about where I'm sitting and feeling like I'm falling in the crack of the chair. So I really love that about this bench sofa here. And y'all, it is 105 inches. I could literally just, oh yes. Like this is awesome. What? How'd you lay down? this is awesome so it does come in different sizes we got the 105 inch one but it does come smaller if you want it smaller if you also prefer the individual seat cushions it can come that way too your delivery will actually be faster if you do the individual seat cushions um, because creating a cushion this big it actually took longer and what i really liked about the process too y'all is that you can pick the material that your sofa is out of. So if you want a more expensive material, if you want something not so expensive, you can pick your material. So we went with one of the material that already comes in the price of the sofa. Um, the person we were working with advised us that the material called slub basket weave that comes with the sofa um, because you have options is actually a really good one. So that's what we went with. So this is the Big Sur is what it's called. And y'all, it is big and I love it. My entire family, we can, all four of us can comfortably sit on this chair and still have room. We absolutely love it. So next we got the Jake sofa. So this one is called the Jake and it is equally as comfortable. It's a little bit lower than the Big Sur. It's it's also really, really deep, just like the Big Sur. I might argue that this one is even a little bit deeper. And we got this one in the oatmeal color. Same material, basket weave slub, but in the oatmeal material. And y'all, the reason I'm giving you so much details on the sofa is because when I wanted these chairs, I searched all over YouTube to see if I could find a video of someone who had purchased these chairs before and what their review was and I could not find anything. So that's why I'm trying to give y'all all of the details in case you're interested in these chairs. Um, but also in the slub basket weave material, again, we didn't pay any extra for this material. I also did this one in the bench and I just really, really love the chair. Again, I can comfortably lay in this chair without any issues, love it. So this is our Jake sofa. And I just really like the contrast between the two colors. Um, I wanted to do like the charcoal color on the one that we sit on most of the time as a family. And then on the Jake do an oatmeal color, which is a lighter color just to play off the contrast there. And my goal, I knew that I was gonna find a rug that had all of those different colors to really, really tie it together. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. I love the wooden base, the exposed wooden base on the Jake sofa. I also love like the square arms on both of the sofas. It really gives it that sleek modern look, but not uncomfortable modern furniture. So one of the things I was thinking about when I got this Jake sofa design wise is that we have these really big, pretty windows back here and you're able to see out to the water. So I knew the height that the window started and I didn't want the chairs significantly higher than the windows so that it doesn't block that view. So that was one of the really big like key decision-making points for me is we love our lake view in the backyard and we wanted to preserve as much of that as possible, but also having the aesthetic that we wanted inside the house. I'm really happy about how it turned out. Now the Jake sofa is 88 inches. This one here is 88 inches and the Big Sur is 105 inches. So just really happy with how it's turned out. Also, also, 
on the back cushion of the chairs you actually have an option if you want three cushions at the back or if you want just like two really big cushions on these chairs i did go with the three cushion option just because i'm thinking over time i don't want it to you know go flat and i can fluff it and it just it looks really good i wanted a modern transitional a little bit of mid-century modern vibe and i think these chairs really tie in well with the space to give me that so i'm really excited about how it's looking so we got our sofas and i was just so excited and then they called us and said our coffee table was going to be arriving early so now you guys remember you did shop with us when we went to pottery barn to find this coffee table um that was the day we gave you the pottery barn hack if you've not seen that video you should go and watch it so I absolutely love this coffee table. It's wooden on top. It's got a little bit of a distressed look to it. The stain on it is not too dark and the frame is metal. So again, just really wanting that modern look. So I feel like metal always like brings, draws out some of that metal industrial feel in a space. And I thought about doing a big square coffee table initially, but remember we bought the sofas August of 2021. And then we went back to purchase the coffee table um, sometime at the beginning of this year. And we didn't have the sofas yet, but something that I had in my mind when purchasing a coffee table was that the Big Sur sofa is pretty square. The Jake sofa is pretty square. Our fireplace is really square. So I really needed something to break up some of those straight lines. So I went with this circular nesting coffee table, which is great because we have a big space and I can basically pull this table in and draw it out as much as I want it to be if I want it to take up more room or if I need to reduce the space because, you know, the kids are playing around or we're having some friends over and we just want to have more footprint on the ground. I really like that I'm able to play with that. So it turned out gorgeous. I love this coffee table. And some of you guys, I know you're judging me. You're like, <laughs> When are you going to style these sofas? These sofas, don't worry. There's a styling video coming. Um, I've really been working over the years on curating pieces. And so I was out of stock on some of my pieces and those will be back in stock soon. And I really wanted to style my living room with a lot of my pieces that I've hand selected over the years. And so there's a styling video coming up. Don't worry. The sofa is not going to be plain like this. We're going to have some throw pillows, throw blankets, different things like that. Coffee tables definitely going to be styled. But I love if you look at the colors of the sofa, I love how the charcoal on the Big Sur, the oatmeal color on the Jake, and then the browns and the grays and the cream that are on the coffee table all tie in together to the rug. Like the rug is really grounding the space. Um, it's just, it's turned out even more beautiful than I had imagined. And even just how it ties in with the fireplace, it's just, it's also beautiful. So, but yeah. And then lastly, you guys probably saw um, at the beginning, the unboxing video of this chair. I absolutely love this chair. It is so comfy. It's deep. One thing, an issue that I usually have with side chairs is sometimes they're so thin or they're too low or they're so straight up and down, it's uncomfortable. This is a true like comfy lounge style, lounge style relaxing chair. So <laughs> now I know that there's only one and I know someone's gonna call me out in the comments that there's only one chair. Now, the reason for that was because I actually saw a similar chair that I really, really liked. It was like a dark tan leather um, finish on the chair. And then the metal on the chair was a brass color, but it was ridiculously expensive for one chair. And then when I thought about purchasing two chairs, I just thought, no, I'm not going to get that. I have young kids. 
I like functional design. I want things to be pretty, but I also want them to be reasonably priced. So I ended up ordering one. And when I did that, just to see if I was actually gonna love it as much as I did online. And I absolutely love this chair. So it came in the box, as you saw, already put together. We literally just had to like cut the box open, pull it out of the box and set it down here and put the cushion in. It is absolutely beautiful. I love the metal frame on this thing. That accent just adds to the chair. So I love the accent along the back. It really plays into that modern vibe I'm going for. It gives me a little bit of mid-century modern as well. So I just really love it. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. I have ordered another one. It's not here yet, but I really just ordered one at first because I wanted to make sure I was really going to like it before ordering two and having to box up two chairs to send back two chairs. So, but that's what our living room looks like right now. I really want another rug under this, maybe like a darker brown jute rug to draw some more of like the browns and the dark colors out of this rug. I have one already. So we're gonna be putting that down here in a few minutes today. Um, let me see. I'm really excited to be talking to y'all about this living room and I wanna make sure that I'm not missing anything. So I still have a couple of pieces that I need to figure out. I want like, I want a side table right here. Um, I have something in mind, but I haven't ordered it yet. I want another side table right here as well. Um, something maybe with storage that's hidden, but looks pretty because my husband does, Daya does a lot of work here, um, watching television. He plugs his phone, plugs all sorts of things back here. And I don't want to be able to see it. <laughs> He's rolling his eyes at me behind the camera. So I don't want to be able to see it. So I'm looking for like a coffee table, uh, sorry, not coffee table, a side table storage type thing that I can put here. So if you've seen something, please link it in the comments below. Um, and then I'm thinking another little, just like a drink table, not exactly a full size um, side table per se right here. I think I'm gonna do a task lamp somewhere in here. I might do a plant somewhere in here but that's kind of where we are with the space right now. So what we're about to do is actually move some of this furniture out of the way because my rug is here. We're gonna go ahead, Daya's gonna help me get the rug down. So it's gonna be, I'm gonna layer the rugs. I'm gonna put the jute rug underneath or, and then put this back on top and then place the furniture pieces back. So guys, it's not complete yet. <laughs> Question, does the furniture arrangement, does he have an end? Please, please. It does, babe. <laughs> so the furniture arrangement does end. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, YouTubers, help Dio out. He's asking if the furniture rearranging ever ends because literally I just made him put this rug down when it came and then now like we're gonna move the furniture again and put the other rug down. But guess what, babe? That's the base rug. So you're not gonna have to move furniture for rugs anymore. I'm up for moving. <laughs> All right.
look at that rug. I love the look that these layers have. And I really wanted to put this darker rug on the bottom to draw out some more of the dark colors and more of the browns and the grays because this jute rug has grays in it, it has browns, it has some cream color. So I really wanted to pull some more out of that vintage grayish rug we have and it looks absolutely beautiful. And I like how it's tying all of the pieces of furniture in the living room together, whether the furniture is gray or it's cream or brown, it's all tying together beautifully. And I absolutely love that. And that's a really big design tip, guys. Your rug can really help tie all of your furniture pieces together, just depending on the look that you're going for. So. This is our finished living room look right now. We still have some decorating to do. We have to decorate the sofas. We have to decorate the coffee table. Still waiting on that second side chair to come in. Um, still also trying to figure out um, the best side tables for this space. So if you have any recommendations, any thoughts, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. Also, not sure if you guys noticed, but we real we just got these Roman shades put up. Um, we actually did the service through Home Depot where they will come out, they'll measure for them, um, get them ordered, and then they come back and they install them for you. I am just really loving it. We've had it down for a majority of this video because it's so sunny outside, but they are motorized and I just really love the look that they have. So pardon us for a minute. You're probably about to see a lot of sun shine through, but I love the fact that we could get these motorized. I love the fact that it just really ties in with the space. And I just kept the colors of them neutral just because I wanted the furniture pieces to really stand out in this space. I love the view of the water from these windows. Absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, we hope you've enjoyed this video. We really just wanted to share our new furniture with you. We're so excited that it finally got here with all the delays and supply chain and COVID. We're just really excited to have the furniture. So if you have not seen how we completed this fireplace or how we completed the ship lap behind the fireplace using our no exposed nail hole, no need to putty, no painting method, you want to go see that. Just click the link right here and it's going to take you right to that. Until next time, guys, thank you for spending your time with us. Joy fame.